Hello Excel champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to get notified automatically when uh, when the date has passed in Excel. So I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm uh, gonna do it for you here with all the formulas and the code and you can download the final file with everything on it. Uh, just below the video, there's gonna be a link when, where you can download everything. Um, and I'm going to show you right away how to do this. So we, here we have a set of deadlines uh, with different dates and we want uh, uh, a reminder when the closest deadline is um, has passed so it's basically the minimum of these dates so and for convenience I'm just gonna put today actually it's gonna be today and we are going to display a message uh, here when the deadline is met each time that we open the file so for that uh, I'm going to go in the VBA uh, editor um, and I'm going to write some code in this workbook. Usually, most of times we use a module uh, to write some code. Why am I going to do it in this workbook? It's because I want to execute some code each time we do a specific action. Uh, it's each time uh, an event happens in the workbook. Uh, so here you have um, pre-specified the options that you can use. So we're going to use the events from the workbook. And you see that you have all these events that are possible to, to use. Uh, the most common is op open, means you want to, to execute a macro each time you open the workbook. But you can also execute a, a macro whenever you create a new sheet, before you close it, uh, whenever you activate it, if you have several workbooks, workbooks open. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit what you can use here. We're just going to use workbook open. This means whatever we write here. Uh, so I'm going to put, so this is, this will happen each time we open the, uh, the file. Okay. Just a little comment. What do we want to do each time we open the file? We want to check. Oops, I lost my Excel. We want to check the value here and if it's the day of today, return this message. So I'm just gonna write if uh, sheets. So I'm just gonna take the first sheets. The first sheet, if the range uh, C2 contains the value um, of the date of today, so to have the date of today in VBA, you just use date. Uh, this is a preset function and it's always going to compute the value, the, the date of today. So I just write if the value equals date, uh, it's going to check if the date is the date of today. So I'm going to close my, uh, my end statement, my if statement. Uh, so if we match, then what do we do? Uh, we display a message box which is going to contain the date of today, the, um, the reminder that we set here, and it's going to be a uh, message box. What? Uh, basically, it's going to be the same thing as here, so except we take the value in D2. Okay. So we may put everything here as a message box. Okay. And I'm going to save that. So if C2, then I display D2. And I'm going to save it and close here and go back in my file. And whenever I open the file, I'm going to have this message box, which is going to say, hey, there's a, there's a deadline today, do something. So of course you can customize it. Maybe it's a special process uh, in your job that you have to follow. You can, um, uh, you can adapt everything. What I'm going to check just, uh, I'm just going to check that if I put the date of tomorrow, uh, that I have nothing running. And when I open it, yeah, it opens normally. So I'm just going to put the date back. Uh, you have to make sure macros are available this way uh, to make sure it runs. Uh, but this way you're going to be notified uh, each time a date happens and you can customize everything. 
So don't forget to download the file, which is going to be right below uh, the video. There's going to be a link for you. And I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe. This way you will be notified as soon as I publish it. See you guys. Ciao.